So the first week of the Triathlon Terra and Swim Foundations is complete. It's in the books. We're closing that chapter because we're moving on to the second week. I just want to give a quick roundup of the first week and a couple of my thoughts and just tell you guys all about it. And I really do believe that this is the best way for anyone that's afraid of the water or that hates the sight of water or that when they think about being in the middle of a lake, they start freaking out. I think this might be the ultimate solution for y'all. So without further ado, let's get into it. First, I got to have a little bit of sip of a coffee because it is Sunday morning. I did just wake up a little bit ago and I'm just not caffeinated enough to get into this just yet. So just give me one second. Yeah, yeah. That's the good shit. Okay. So first off, you're going to start the week doing breathing drills and they're going to seem extremely easy. And you're probably going to think, what the hell is the point of this? I don't really need to be blowing bubbles in the water or sinking down to the bottom of the pool or just kicking while br blowing bubbles. I don't need to do any of this. This is a waste of my time and you would be wrong, sir. You would be absolutely incorrect. That is the building blocks to get comfortable in the water. Without those beginning drills, you're going to jump right into something and you're going to be afraid and you're not going to want to continue with it. That's the problem with a lot of things. People just start out way too fast and they give up because they're going in hot and they get overwhelmed and they quit because it hurts to go back the next day. So you really need to trust that these breathing drills are getting to you, getting you where you need to be because they really honestly did help me. So last week, as I explained, I was extremely afraid of the water. I would fight the water. I would take a little bit of water in my mouth and start, have to stop swimming, freak out, calm myself down and then continue on. Now I'm at a point where when I get a little bit of water in my mouth, I'm able to spit it out and carry on with my day. It is fantastic and I really do attribute it to all these first beginning breathing drills. So I'm just going to name them off very quickly. I'll put the how to do them in the description down below. But these are the five drills that you really need to get down pat before you even start to go on to becoming a better functional swimmer. So by functional swimming, I mean your actual stroke, your breathing rate, all that stuff. You need to get these down first. So number one is just putting your head in the water and blowing bubbles. That's very important. Number two is sink downs. I would say that the sink downs are the most important. So if you don't do any drills, just get the sink downs down packed and you're probably going to be okay. The third drill is to blow bubbles while kicking to stop. And when you need to breathe, you stop and take a breath. The fourth drill, you kick while blowing bubbles and you don't stop to take a breath. You turn like you're actually swimming to take a breath. You continue doing that until you can do that for three minutes straight. Then you're bing, bang, boom. You're on to the next one. The next one is the corkscrew drill. This is where you need some equipment. You're going to need to drop a little bit more money than just on the goggles, but it's very important that you do. I, I never thought that these would be a good investment, but they truly are. And that is fins. I'll leave a link down below to the ones I use. They're pretty awesome. I really enjoy them. They make you feel like you're going a thousand miles an hour when you're swimming. So if that sounds up your alley, then you're going to want to get a pair of fins to do the corkscrew drill. The corkscrew drill is where you're going to go lie belly down, facing the water, arms up in front like a triangle. You're going to blow bubbles while kicking to the other side. You're going to rotate every time you need to take a breath on your belly. Don't freak out like I do. <laughs> you're going to be underwater for a little bit as you float to the surface to get your breath. But trust me, you will get there. Just remain calm. <laughs> Stay focused. You're not going to drown. You're in a pool. But that took me a while. It took me a few days to get to that point. So you are going to probably struggle for the first days, but stay with it. You will get it. I pr absolutely promise you, you will get it. So those are the five drills that I suggest that you all do to start out with. Like I said, how to do them is in the description down below. Unfortunately, I don't, I'm not allowed to take my GoPro in, so I can't take videos in just yet. But when I do, I will film myself doing these drills for you so you can get a better visual understanding of, hey, that's... <laughs> That is what I need to do. I totally missed the point, but I'm sure y'all are smart enough to understand that you can do it. All right. So I, I keep saying y'all a lot. I'm, I'm not from the Southern United States. I'm actually from the East coast of Canada. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Maybe in a past life, I was like a, a general of some sort down there. I don't, I don't know. Sorry about that. So those are the drills that really helped me become more comfortable in the water. And now, like I said, I'm able to get that water in my mouth, just spit it out or do whatever it is and continue on. 
And one thing that I really did notice that this helped me with is being able to not tilt my head out of the water while, br while trying to take a breath. I'm able to keep one goggle in the water and take a little sip of breath and then continue on. Before, I would kind of like lift my head all the way up, look, looking really awkward, trying to take a breath, and that just <laughs> completely destroyed my stroke. So that really helped me get that better consistent motion while swimming, which makes, which means you're not gonna slow down as much, which means you're gonna come out of the water feeling more fresh and ready to slam those pedals, ready to hit that pavement with your running shoes and just continue on and become a better all overall triathlete. So that was thing number one that I really did notice improve just based off of those, or the, um, the breathing drills. And then later on in the week, I progressed into the next phase, which is floating like a log. And I'm still kind of confused with these drills. So you're supposed to do, one, there's six drills. You're supposed to do one drill for eight sessions, move on to the next one, do it for eight sessions. So right now I'm still on the number one drill, which is you put it on a snorkel, you have a kickboard, you hold the end of the kickboard like this, and you put on your fins and you just go to the other side of the pool, kicking with your fins, blowing out of your snorkel while trying to press your body in, keep your, the top of your butt to the surface of the water, kicking with your heels outside of the water, and just having that nice consistent body position. And that really is helping me as well. What it's helping me with especially is kicking. So in my three years of triathlon, I decided that I wasn't gonna kick while swimming, which in theory, you're saving oxygen so you're not using as much so you have more available on the bike ride, but you don't, have that same position so you're working harder in the swim because you're having more drag because your legs are just sinking down it's not so much of a big deal with a wetsuit but it's still not proper you could be doing better more efficiently so i decided that i should probably start kicking and that's what these drills are really helping me with is just learning how to get that kick consistent and not just have my legs floating there like a dead dead weight so the floating like a log drills, I just started them a couple days ago and they are seemingly helping me with that for sure because I did a 400 meter time trial last Monday. I think it was like nine minute and six seconds. Last night I did four separate 100s, which isn't the same as doing the 400 time trial by any means. But I did that, I think my overall time was like 8.15 with my fastest 100 meter being 1.42. And I didn't feel like I was going super hard, so I don't know if it's just, maybe I made miraculous gains in the first week, which isn't likely. I was probably pushing too hard, but who knows? You never know. So overall, the first week has been pretty darn successful, and I definitely do recommend that you guys try those drills down below, or consider picking up Triathlon Terror and Swim Foundations book, because it does have a lot of killer information. Um, couple things though, before you get started. I do recommend that you buy the snorkel and the fins. I think the snorkel ran me about 20 bucks, something like that, 20 Canadian pesos. So if you're in the States, it'll be a little less. The fins, I think they were 44 Canadian pesos after taxes on Amazon, um, something along those lines. They're not extremely heavy compared to buying a bike. If you buy a bike in triathlon, and you can definitely afford to get some fins or snorkel. Maybe not, but just spend a little bit less on that bike and just get those uh, essential swim, swim gear because that is really, it really did help me. And I made a video last year and I said, don't bother buying any swim pool, swim pool toys. And I, uh, yeah, I was wrong. I was absolutely wrong. I d definitely do recommend this because they do really help you get that better body position and teach you how to kick more consistently. Get more power in your kick with the fins because there's more resistance. It's, yeah, they're great. So I feel like I'm rambling a little bit, so I'm gonna wrap this up right now. But if you wanna hear more about how to become a more confident, competent swimmer, a better triathlete, a better endurance athlete, or just listen to my ramblings and stories, make sure to hit that subscribe button and remember, Stay psycho, hit that like button. Have an awesome day.